Good afternoon, stock fans, and welcome to On Track Stocks with Stan Williamson and Audrey Gatlin. We're bringing you the fast stocks everyone is dying to beat. Oh, yes. All right, Audrey, what is your fastest growing stock? My fastest growing stock, the last time I checked, was Chipotle. And why do you think Chipotle is doing so well? Well, I mean, everybody likes Chipotle, and if you don't, well, that sucks. But, um, it's just really good. And it's like Mexican food. And everybody likes Mexican food. Hello, Samuel. Um, what is your best growing stock so far? Currently, my best growing stock is a penny stock, abbreviated TVX. This is a tech company which sells and works on small end encryption and computer software, which is why I think it's doing so well, because at this time there's a lot of uncertainty involving the cyber world, and people are wanting to do well. Additionally, because the stock was so cheap, very small growth equals large profits for me. Well, that's good. Thanks for having me. All right, what is your worst performing stock? Well, so far, my worst performing stock is Facebook. Um, because, I mean, there was a scam that was going around like last week, and it's not that good. But after this blows by, like everything else blows by on the news, it'll raise up the, the prices and the, my stock will be going good. Okay. Oh Hello, God, Samuel. Uh, what is your worst growing stock? My so worst growing stock currently is Glue, another tech company. And I've lost so far $50 in Glue. So it's been pretty bad. <laughs> oh, shoot. What's I think Glue is doing really bad because of the new tariffs imposed on China. And as a Chinese tech company, <laughs> it's doing really, really bad. Audrey, what is your worst performing stock right now? My worst performing stock right now is by far Facebook because of the scam <laughs> that went around. <laughs> and um, it, it will blow by, hopefully in a little while and maybe that will make my stock grow faster and go higher probably not but you know have hope and it has lost me about 26 dollars so um thanks for asking me that question back to you bailey cradle audrey what do you think is going to have the most potential growth oh PetSmart by far because i mean it's not doing that so well right now but i mean once Christmas comes around, um, people want to get new animals, and puppies are great. And so is uh, cats, because I got a cat, and his name is Teddy Lickley Chaffee, sometimes well, Stingy Beat Pickle Eaters. That's a long name, but I got it from PetSmart, and PetSmart takes care great for your animals, and uh, yeah. Hello, what project have, do you think is doing well? It's going to do well so far. The stock I am most optimistic about is Ford Motor Company. I bought them at $11 a share while they were down in the bottom. However, as the new year is going to be rolling around and moving into it, I predict automotive stocks in general are going to increase because as Tesla recently faced drops, other companies are going to move in to corner the market. And Ford, as one of the few American companies that has any form of electric car initiative, I predict that in the long run, they will end up making me back my money. And because I bought so many shares of them when they're so cheap, even a small gain is just straight profit. Cha ching what changes do you plan to make for the future? Oh, I want to cut out, uh, I want to trade my stocks. Trade, let's see, trade some Amazon, trade some Apple, trade Netflix, because they've got me nowhere so far. But uh, you got to have faith, but I don't have any. So, Michael! Yeah, Michael! Um, what is your plan? on making your stock and your company grow better. Well, currently I plan on getting out of the penny stock market. That was a little too fluctuating for me. So I'm going to sell off Glue, I'm going to sell off T T T TXVS, and I'm going to sell off my other shares of penny stocks and go in with much more stable companies. Because now that I've lost a bunch of money right at the start, I really don't want to lose more. I actually plan to hyper-stabilize. I think the market's going to be very fluctuating. We're going to go all in for midterm government bonds. That's good. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And now you are on track to win.